Congratulations on your purchase of the Buddy Tag. I am sure you are excited about using your Buddy Tag, but it's important to understand the proper usage of the Buddy Tag and how to get the best use out of it. It's important to note the Buddy Tag does not replace proper supervision of your children. Buddy Tag's alarming features help remind you to keep your children within your line of sight and close to you. It is also important to check frequently to ensure the Buddy Tag app is activated and connected to your Buddy Tag wristbands. Please watch this video on how to use different styles of wristbands. In this video, we will focus on how to activate and deactivate the tag, how to connect it to the app on your phone, and how to use it properly. Initial setup is very simple. First, make sure Bluetooth on your phone is turned on. Typically, it's in the settings page of your phone. If you haven't downloaded the Buddy Tag app, you can download it for free from the iTunes Store for iPhone or Google Play for Android phones. Once you have Bluetooth enabled and the app is downloaded, you are ready for the regular setup procedure for the basic features of BuddyTag. Simply follow these three steps. Step 1. Launch the app and activate the tag. Step 2. When you see the new device icon appearing on the screen, simply swipe it to the left, kind of like plugging in a light bulb, and it will connect the app to your tag. Step 3. Put the BuddyTag wristband with the tag in it on your child. If you have several buddy tags, you simply follow the same three steps to connect the other buddy tags. Please note that the normal usage of buddy tag is to activate and connect the tag to your phone when you are out and about with your children. When you arrive home, it's best to disconnect the buddy tags from your phone so the buddy tags will enter sleep mode and save battery power. To disconnect, simply swipe the icon to the right, like unplugging the light bulb, and the icon disappears, indicating it has entered the sleep mode. Please also know that if a buddy tag has lost signal connection to your phone for about an hour or more, it will automatically enter sleep mode to conserve battery power. Now you are ready to try it out and see how it works. To make sure the tag is connected to your phone, press the panic button on the tag and you should hear the alarm on your phone and see the panic alarm pop-up message. So let's try it out. Ask your child to stay at his location. Start walking until you hear the app sound an alarm. You should also feel your phone vibrate and a message should pop up saying, did you forget your device? The distance varies depending whether you're indoors or outdoors, how many walls are in between you and your child and how crowded your surroundings are. If you want to track your child closer, you can click on the icon and enter the custom setting for each buddy tag. Simply adjust the proximity slider to the left to decrease the proximity, which means decreasing how far you would allow your child to be away from you before the alarm sounds. You should experiment with the proximity adjustment at an outdoor setting, such as the playground, and also an indoor setting, such as your house, so you can get a sense of how the proximity sensitivity varies. Now let's show you what else you can do with the app. Go to the custom setting page. You can enter your child's name here, select a different symbol, mute the alarm if you choose, see how much power is left in the buddy tag's battery, and the trash can is used to disconnect the tag from the phone and put the tag into sleep mode. This does the same thing as pulling the icon to the right to unplug, as I mentioned earlier. Simply touch the return icon to get back to the home page. There are other important features of the app that can be found in the global setting page. Simply touch this setting page icon to get to it. To enable the feature of knowing where the buddy tag was last seen by the app, you need to turn on the location services. This uses location services on your phone and it will consume more battery power. If you turn on Auto Mute Zone for home or office, our app will automatically mute all buddy tag alarms when you arrived at either one of these locations. To set the location, touch either home or office when you are at your desired location. A map will appear showing where you are currently located. Press Use to set this location as your home or office. With this setting enabled, our app will automatically mute the alarms when you arrived at either one of these two locations. You can turn vibration on or off. You can select different alarm ringtones. The email setting allows the app to send an email to the designated email addresses whenever the buddy tag has lost Bluetooth connection to the phone. It's ideal if you have your nanny taking your children out for activities, for example. You will get an email if one of the children gets separated from the nanny. Another important feature that you might want to pay attention to is how to mute the alarm. Muting the alarm is important when you are visiting a museum or watching a movie. Our app detects when you switch your phone to mute and our app will automatically mute the alarm also. While it's in mute, the phone will still vibrate. You can also mute each individual buddy tag in the app by pressing the bell symbol or you can mute all buddy tags by pressing the switch at the lower right corner. 
And that's it. So many features in this easy to use app. I hope you will find BuddyTag as useful as it is for me and my son.